In this exercise, we will be creating our own custom constructor which will accept the object of app model. So when you select the particular row, we will be extracting the object of app model from an array and pass that object to the new controller. On receiving that object, the new controller can create a view and assign the data with respect to that model. So now for creating constructor, we have to use word in it. And now I want to create my own model. So I say app model app model and I'll say external parameters app model. I'll say internal parameters app and the type is app model. Now I'll say super dot. Now for controller you have to use nib name. Now this is used in conjunction with the zip file or the nib file or the storyboard. So whenever you use the constructor you have whenever you use the controller you have to always initialize a super constructor using nib name. Again whenever you create a constructor this function needs to be there so you do it. Now here you will be creating some image views and all so I'll say where icon view equal to UI image view and you'll be initializing that image view with the app dot icon and it'll say self dot view add sub view the icon view now you'll set the center of the icon view say some render this depends upon your UI so I'll say 100 comma Hundred. Similarly, you'll create name label called the UI label frame CG back make. I'll say ten comma ten comma three hundred comma forty. I'll we'll say name label dot text equal to app dot name self dot view. Add sub view name label. Similarly, I'll create publisher label equal to your label frame CGVAC make. I'll say 10, comma, say 60, comma, 300, comma, 40, and I'll say publisher label dot text equal to publish a label and as a serve dot view dot add sub view publish a label. So I've configured my new controller screen depending upon the data which is passed from the previous controller using the navigation stack and depending upon the design you can have your particular element placed at particular frame and center. So when a when a cell gets selected you will extract the app. You'll be creating the detail controller saying of type app detail controller and you'll create an app model where you're gonna pass the app. Now you'll tell the navigation controller to push this detail controller so said, and you want an animation so we'll say true and once you've done this you run your application and see the output I click here I click now see it went very jerky right this is also because of iOS 7 okay so in order to do that in iOS 7 the controller view is transparent so transparent pixels are very heavy to process so whenever you create a controller you have to set it background color to whatever color you want so I say white color and also remember in last exercise we defined that we need to have an origin starting below the navigation bar so I'll say we have at age none now I'll run the program and see the output so when I run this program I got a smooth way see 
the, the, another model got passed. You can set the title by saying serve dot title equal to add detail. Run your program again. So automatically title for your navigation will be set. Cool. So we are done with the navigation controller. In the next module, we'll see how to put this application use on the iPad and on the new devices. So I stop this project.